Hey guys, how's it going? It's your favorite train wreck here, Annie Nova. How have we been? Who's like not emotionally ready for Euphoria to be already over? Because I feel like it, like the first episode of season two just came out. As I'm assuming most of you guys, I was obsessed with the looks, the storyline, Maddie just as a person and as a mood. I remember like watching the whole Cassie Nate love triangle and being like, why am I so invested in this? Why do I want to beat Cassie's ass? <laughs> and then I realized like what Cassie's doing, I experienced so many times. And I was like, let me just like do a sit down with you guys and do like old school OG Annie sit down story time where I talk about a situation that wasn't so great, but that I now laugh at. So by the title, you can see I have had so many Cassies in my life and I will just go chronologically in like what order it happened and do like a story time for you guys. Okay, now looking back, I realized that I guess I didn't have like the best taste in friends like my taste in men and my taste in friendships were like at the same level now like the friendship level has gone way up I would like to think my taste in men has gone up too but friendship definitely like I now out of all the friends I have I can think of a single one that would ever like do what these other girls do you know we're going up in the world slowly but surely so the first ever time a Cassie Cassied me was when I was in year six. Now this is like not that deep at all, but it, <laughs> it's like the first time it ever happened. And I remember I just really had a crush on this boy and told one of the girls in my friendship, little friendship group. And literally the next day she's like, oh, I, I like him too and I'm gonna ask him out but yeah I, I was so salty about it because I was like you knew that I liked him and then you decided to like him too like, second time actually happened when I had like briefly had a boyfriend he after like two days dumped me and then um because I wouldn't talk to him like <laughs> starts liking one of my best friends in my friendship group and her name is Cassie too and she's like no i don't know oh i'm her friend though and you guys are like you were guys were together and then she went out with him number three was i would say the most traumatic one out of all of them because that was like my first ever like boyfriend and made like a whole story time about this one it was just he wasn't a very good person he was very pushy about certain things very manipulative even though like which is so strange to me like we were both the same age but he the, the level of manipulation was just like above his years which is scary to think about but what ended up happening was during my relationship with this guy I kind of had a feeling that him and my friend Cassie number three were getting a little bit too close like too friendly but I wasn't a very I'm still not a very jealous person but I felt very uncomfortable and you know she was always very bitchy towards me whenever he was around and trying to be all funny and put me down in front of him for the sake of being funny or whatever and then I kind of started catching on that she like liked him but at the same time she had a boyfriend of her own the day that he broke up with me when he broke up with me, I said like, are you breaking up with me because you like Cassie, number three? And he was like, oh, how did you know? Like, as if it wasn't like obvious or anything. Like, I was like, I know. So then me thinking that I had a loyal friend, I don't know why I thought that, went to my friend, Cassie, and I was like, hey, by the way, because of the way you've been acting towards him, he thinks you have a, he has a chance with you because you guys have been like close or whatever. Me thinking that she would obviously stop what she was doing and stop being f like semi flirty with him. Um, but actually what she ended up doing was like an hour later would go to her boyfriend, break up with him, then go and meet up with my ex-boyfriend and be like, oh, I like you too. And they ended up going out for like a whole year. So I had to see that all the time for a whole year i had to see them and they had like this weird like thing where they wanted me to see like they both had like their own special reasons why they wanted to talk to me 
I don't really know. I, I just think he's a terrible person. But her, like Cassie, it was for her to like sh almost show me that she was like better than me. Because if you've seen my video that I did like two, three years ago about this whole thing, like she was really scary in the fact that she almost like tried to be me in certain senses. Like she started doing her makeup like me. She started trying to act like me. And it just was really, really creepy. So then, you know, she managed to get in her mind get something that was mine that she now had so she always wanted to like kind of parade that in front of me and it was so so weird that's when it like i got goosebumps when i saw the whole cassie dressing up as maddie because i was like that literally happened to me it was so bizarre like she was dressing like me doing her hair makeup like me it was bizarre <laughs> i wish i would have pulled a maddie and like gotten in her face <sighs> You dumb fucking bitch. I'm gonna no. fuck you. This girl, I was very close to this girl. And, you know, she would come over to sit in my room and I would just like vent to her about my situation with this one guy that I was seeing. And she would, you know, she would listen and offer advice and stuff. And then we kind of like lost touch over Christmas holidays, which is like, I feel like natural. Like everyone gets kind of busy. And then literally the first night back at university, I'm on the dance floor. At this point, I hadn't spoken to the guy I was seeing um, because he was ghosting me basically, but we hadn't like broken things off or anything. So I was confused. I was even more confused when I saw Cassie number four making out with the guy that I had been venting to her about. To this day, I, I'm just so, just why? And later on, the guy actually apologized to me for doing that. Um, the, I was drunk. I don't know. And then actually with the same guy, there was a Cassie number five who kind of was his ex and then he started seeing me. And then she tried to be all friendly with me while trying to also behind my back be with him. I, I would have considered her like a, a loose friend, not like my best friend, but still just like it was, it's weird. Like if you're trying to steal a girl's boyfriend or like steal any girl's guy, don't try and be friends with the girl. Like that makes you look like a sociopath. Cassie number four and five shared the guy. Moving on, Cassie number six. How did I allow for there to be six Cassie? Oh, similar, similar situation. I, there was a guy that I liked. I told her all about him, vented about him to her. She knew full well. That was like a complicated situation. We were never gonna like be a thing or anything, but like, let me dream, you know? Don't crush my dreams by getting with him. <laughs> so this girl was actually kind of known to be a little, I don't, I, I don't, I don't slut shame but she was known to be like that type of girl to like just like do it with whoever. What you choose to do with your body is your business um, as long as you're not doing it to hurt anyone. So I remember like a week before a girl, another girl at a club called her a slut cause she slept with her boyfriend. And I remember that's the only ever time I've ever been in a situation where I almost like fought someone. I'm not someone who would like put hands on someone because they've said something to me but if you say something to my friends you may as well have said something to me if that makes sense like i'm that kind of friend who will like go hard for you and i won't let anyone say anything bad about you in front of me because i will defend them i hate the type of people who are just like oh well they didn't do anything to me so like i'm still gonna be fine with them like no if you did if you did something to one of my friends you're dead to me you're not friend you're not my friend literally a week later we go out again and the guy that I liked was there who I vented to her about and they start talking and I'm just like in the corner like what are you doing? <laughs> um, the guy like didn't really know that I liked him just because like the situation just, it just wasn't right he wasn't a good person anyway either and I was just like what are you doing? We ended up getting separated and I got home and I called her and she picked up and I was like, hey, did you get home okay? She's like, yeah, I'm just walking home now. Oh, like I can hear someone in the background. Are you on your own? Like who's walking you home? She's like, oh, 
Um, it's just your two friends. So she said the guy's name that I liked, and then she also said my one of my housemates' names. The universe just lined up and it wanted me to know that she was a terrible person and a terrible friend because as soon as she said, oh, I'm walking with your housemate, literally that exact housemate jumps into my room, like all drunk and whatever, uh, and she's like, hey Annie, like, do you want to come downstairs and drink with us? Da, da, da. And I'm just like still on the phone as this girl's telling me like, yeah, you're a housemate, da da da. And I'm like, I literally remember this so clearly. I'm literally just like, well, you're lying because he just walked into my room and then I like hung up. I wish we still had flip phones, like I traditional phones where I could have slammed down the phone, but whatever. So I like angrily pressed the end call button and she tried to call me, she tried to text me, she tried to explain how like she was confused, she got really confused, yeah it's just the guy that I like who's walking her home. So knowing that, she went home with him and then the next day I wake up to like 50 missed calls, text messages being like I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I decided, you know what, let me have this girl explain herself. So we meet up for a coffee, she starts telling me how like the whole time they were together she kept on telling him that he should go to me and that I'm so much better while they were sleeping together. <laughs> And bearing in mind, he at this point didn't really know that I liked him. And she goes on to tell me that like while they were like making out and stuff, she kept on telling him like, Annie really likes you. She really, really likes you. You should like talk to her. You should da 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 da. And I'm just so embarrassed. Like why couldn't you just betray me and not embarrass me at the same time? I, mm. And then the worst part after that, which just, the guy, the guy was such a sociopath, so he knew that I liked him, right? He didn't like me back. We were still around the same people. So the girl had like a nose ring. One time we would, it was just us two together in like a social setting. And he turns to me and he goes, oh, Annie, you should get a nose ring just like Cassie does. And then he turns around again. Isn't that so evil? Like I never... <laughs> These are the times when I wish that I was the person that I am now because <laughs> anyway, that was like the last time that ever happened to me and I was like, yeah, I was about 21 years old. So now um, I'm very picky with my friendships. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> thank you for seeing through this little um, story of me just picking the wrong friends and men. Guys, let me know, has anything like that ever happened to you? Like, have you ever been the Maddie in a Cassie Nate love triangle? I would love to know your stories. Like, comment them down below. Yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.